Okay, 606 this morning. We've been talking about it all morning long. It is Groundhog's Day, of course, and all across the nation, Americans are waiting to see if any shadows will be seen. Our meteorologist Alex Pry is in Jackson, and he is ready to break down General Beauregard Lee's predictions and what it means for our weather here in central Georgia. Alex, how are things looking there? Well, right now it is rather chilly outside. You might even see my breath right now when I am talking. So I sure hope Beauregard Lee is predicting an early spring to start later on this afternoon, even in the couple next hours to warm me on up. Now, I know Alex Forbes isn't a big fan, but I got to say, coming out here, I am pretty excited to see what Bo does predict this year. A couple facts about this so far. Originally, Georgia did have a groundhog named Robert E. Lee. That uh, rodent since passed away, and now Beauregard Lee is his nephew, and he has been forecasting since 1991. Now he's the last four years has continued the early spring trend. So hopefully this year he is going to make it five. And another fun fact, uh, this rodent is no different from many of us. After he makes his prediction, he is going to indulge in some Waffle House hash browns. So I'm looking forward to seeing all this, all the excitement here. But for now, let's send it back to a meteorologist that does have a better picture for the weather for the next week. 13 WMAC Weather, sponsored by Premier Heating and Air. All right, yeah, thank you, Alex. Uh, we'll have to see what he has to say. I don't know. I, is six more weeks of winter, early spring. Do we want to make predictions on his prediction? I think it's going to be six more weeks of winter, honestly. No. But I'm a winter lover, so of course I'm going to be siding on the side of winter. Yeah, I could see that, though, because it's cold outside, so he runs back into his right. house to stay right. warm. I get I, it. I could also see the early spring thing, though, because if he because if he sees a shadow, it, it's six more weeks of winter, right? He goes back in, he's afraid right. of right. shadow. But we're going to have clouds around, so I don't know how many shadows there, mm -hmm. there are going to be. I guess we got to wait and see. Yeah. yeah. So, but I'm pretty really? jealous about these Waffle House hash browns. Right? Like, right? I want to be a Sign groundhog for the day or something. I, I, I think I should do my forecast from Waffle House. Uh, <laughs> you know what? That's <laughs> not a bad idea, honestly. Yeah. All right. Scattered, smothered, and covered. Here we go. <laughs> Downtown Macon, 36. What we're doing right now, I could use a nice hot, hot cup of coffee from there as well. In fact, I've got one sitting right here. What am I, th what am I talking about? 70 degrees. What we're going to be doing later on today. 39 in Forsyth, 41 in Roberta, 39 in Montezuma, 38 down in Unadilla and Cordial, 40 over in Rochelle, 34 in Eastman, 36 in Dublin. And 36 in Wrightsville. Here's the radar picture. Yeah, not much going on. Really not expecting to see much of anything today. We've got some clouds out there right now. That's what I'm talking about in terms of any shadow activity up there in Butts County. But clearing skies back into Alabama and Mississippi, that's kind of indicative of what's to come for us later on today. We play feature view forward through, your, through the noon hour or so. Temperatures in the low 60s, and then later this afternoon we get into this is showing the mid 60s. I think we actually get into the low 70s at times, especially areas down to the south. I've got 70 in Macon for a high temperature, and then into the night tonight, back down near 40 once again to get your Saturday started. Here's Saturday afternoon, looking at mid 60s across central Georgia, but Saturday night into Sunday, going to notice some clouds streaming into central Georgia, and as that happens, rain's going to be on our doorstep. Here's 6 a.m. So heading out early Sunday morning should be dry, but by the time we get to 9, 10 o'clock, we're going to be looking at a steady rain building in and look at the temperatures mid 40s. That's where we're going to be through most of the day on Sunday. Just uh, not a great day across central Georgia. I think that's where you get your uh, six more weeks of winter. Let's check out how much rain we could potentially see. This is from the National Weather Service. They, they kind of average out the rainfall across the country. This is how it shapes up for central Georgia. Generally speaking, higher amounts right around an inch, if not just above it down to the south. So 65 for Saturday, 52 on Sunday, a 90% chance of rain on Sunday. Just not a great day. In fact, I do think Think there's a distinct possibility that several places stay in the 40s all day. I do have a high temperature of 52 in Macon, but we'll see how it all shakes out. A 40% chance of rain there on Monday before we get into the rest of the week and things will begin to uh, clear out across central Georgia. 61 is what we did yesterday. Our uh, 61 is the average. 62 is what we did yesterday after an overnight low of 28. It was a chilly morning. And as we check out the uh, the records, we did not come close to either one of those and uh, happy about that one out the door today. Looking at temperatures again, warming up into the 70 degree range by about two, three o'clock and then back down through the 60s later on tonight. A mostly sunny day, a warm afternoon, no matter how you slice it, winds out of the west northwest at five to 10. 71 today in Warner Robins and in Irwinton, 70 in Sandersville and in Sparta, 69 in Forsyth, 68 in Thomaston and 69 down in Unadilla. Here's your seven day forecast. I'm going with 65 and making for tomorrow, but then that asterisk there on Sunday, a 90% chance rain. I'm confident in that one. What I'm not confident in is the high temperature. I do think uh, several spots will stay in the 40s. Uh, we'll see how that shakes out on Sunday. 56 for Monday, 61 on Tuesday. Overnight low temperatures back in the 30s for Tuesday and Wednesday morning, 64 there on Wednesday with partly cloudy skies. As for today, though, I guess we'll leave it to the groundhog and whether or not he sees his shadow. I guess we'll see. Well, President Joe Biden is